<laughs> yes, yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it now. We're taking it old school. Let's do this. You poop! Ah! What, what's going on, you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Creighton TV. So today's quick video tutorial, we're going to revisit Twitch Studio Beta. Let's go. Twitch Studio Beta. So if you're new here and you like this type of video, subscribe if you're new. And let's get to it. Yes, so today's video tutorial, we're gonna be talking about Twitch Studio Beta. They're in version something, one point something. So let's check this out. Last time I visited this was uh, 0 0.18, no, 0 0.89.17 on that version when it first came out, a Twitch Studio Beta. So now if you're first starting off on Twitch, let me get you say, or you just started off streaming and you don't want to go through the hassle of using OBS, learning Streamlabs OBS, and you don't want to use the Elgato Game Catcher HD software, and you stream on Twitch, use Twitch Studio Beta. Now let's get to it. So when you open up Twitch Studio Beta, uh, the new one, the new version, they're on 0 0.101.7. A lot of new things in here, as you can see. Now they have added how long you've been streaming for. We're just gonna go over everything before I show you how to set up. How long your session, your viewers, your CPU, you know, your encoder, frames drop, show FPS, how much memory you are using when you're using this application. And they added a lot of features. So to use Twitch Studio Beta, the only downfall is using Facebook Gaming or YouTube. Can't really use it. You gotta stream on Twitch. So that's what's called Twitch Studio Beta. Might wanna learn something. You might wanna get off Facebook. You might wanna get off Twitch. I mean, YouTube, and you wanna come to Twitch. Check out the Twitch Studio Beta. This is on the Mac. This will work. So, you know, you have a MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, bigger MacBook Pro, like 15 or 16 inch, iMac, Mac Mini. You wanna use Twitch Studio Beta. Hey, it's still a good alternative streaming service where you don't have to use the Elgato HD gaming software and you don't have to learn the hassle of learning OBS or Streamlabs OBS, which is real easy, but this is much easier. Check out the, the brain thinking if you don't want to go that far, but check this out. They have got new things. You got your stream preview that's right here in this middle. You got your scenes as you can add your activity feed. You can read your chat. That's a good thing because you can't do that on the Elgato software. It's not a brand deal or nothing. They didn't pay me to say this video. I'm just making a video to help you guys out. But you guys, you can see your activity feed when people subscribe, follow, you know, send you raids, everything will pop up right here. Your activity feed, you can read your chat, change your everything else. I like what they have updated on this app. You got your start stream. You can edit your layout, how you want things to be set. You have your main screen right now, what you see, your be right back screen. You got your chatting screen and all that other stuff. You can change your your description right here. You can edit your stream, put your tags, stuff like that, what game you are playing. They have, I have a whole lot of stuff down here. So you got your mute stream, you know, you can unmute if you want to, want everything else. Right now, if you turn it on, they'll be muted so they can't hear or, you know, doing some outside talking and that stuff. You got your mic that's right here listed, whatever mic, your primary microphone that you can change and all that other stuff. You do have, what is this one? You got your cameras. Oh, this is where you change your individual cameras and sound check and everything else. Make sure your audio is sounding pretty good. Yeah, it's actually got, they got a whole preference thing right there. That's nice. This is like your mixer settings, which you're using OBS or Street Labs. Now, you can change your application. If you click on your main screen, there's a new feature right here. This wasn't here before. Probably was, but last time I done one of these videos over like nine months ago. So, if you're just starting off on Twitch, I mean, streaming itself, and you want to stream on Twitch, Twitch Studio Beta can get you really started. The Elgato software, it does work. You just only download with Elgato software. You can't read the chat. You got to use your phone or your iPad to go back and look at the chat. And who wants to do all that? And you can just do everything right here. What you want to do is click on over here, and this will tell you what your primary screen, what you want to see. So if you're using the Elgato HD60S, and you got the OBS link running, you can now click that for the NDI source because that actually pops up before you had to have Elgato uh, software running when you first started. Now you don't have to no more. Just make sure you've got your 
Everything's set up if you're using the Elgato HD60S. Hit NDI source and the OBS link should connect. Boom, get you started. But you got the full average screen. But now if you're like me or anybody else and you have upgraded to the Elgato HD60S Plus, you can click right here. You can put what window, you can put Twi Twitch Studio. You can display the entire screen at one. If you got multiple monitors, which is cool. So I'm gonna click my capture card and you'll see it pop up right there. I'm gonna hit next down here at the bottom. Then it lets me put my title in for Streamlabs OBS. Go live, uh, whatever, your tags, your language you're streaming in, then you hit done. And then you can just hit start stream if you're ready to start streaming, which is pretty cool. Now you're thinking like, where's my webcam? This little button is right down here. I turned off the webcam. I'll turn it back on. There it is right there. See, I can move it right there. And the good thing that they changed now this time with the webcams is like if I go back into go to edit layout. Now you can change what you see on your layout. They got up here, you can crop stuff. You can cut things out, copy and paste right here. So like you got your alerts up there, wherever you want to, you can add your alerts. You can add layers. You can copy and paste layers just so they can stay above and on top of each other, which is really good. So you don't have to keep going back, adding, adding this copy and paste. So if I go to webcam, I can now change. I can add a border to my webcam if I want to. I can resize the border. Like if I edit border right here, if I edit border. You can see I can if you look at the border, I can right now I can see how much of the border you put in there or whatever you don't want in there. How much rounding or how square do you want it? You can change the border color so i'm gonna change it to you know you can change it to whatever your theme is set up you can change it probably could have done that before I don't remember because last time i made this video was about nine months ago so you can also add a chroma key if you're using green screen you can add a chroma key if you want to use that you can add a color filter there's a lot of stuff that's in here your game capture you can change what do you see on there like your panels you can add a border to your game capture a chroma key to that if you want to. I don't know why you would add a chroma key to your game guys. Just in case you wanted to. Background color, wallpaper. There's a lot of good interesting things that's in here. And then once you finish all done and said, getting everything set up, you want to hit save. Saves it as is. There you go. Right there. But right now we're gonna turn off the webcam. <laughs> but you know, do you see the gameplay? Look up here at the top. If I hit start stream and went and went live right now, which you can't follow me on Twitch across the screen right there but you know uh you got your session how long you been going how many viewers total cpu right now the reason why you see my cpu is so you high because i'm screen recording but normally it's never that high it's probably like i normally get about five percent maybe or less sometimes you use it so it shows frames so if you're you know how many frames you are dropping memory how much memory you are using but you gotta use you gotta sign into your, uh, your twitch if you need help with this app can't click on help but basically everything is right here you can change all your settings you need to set up everything literally right here you can read your chat and everything else you probably can add let's see click over here you probably can't yes you probably can't add for your background music and your background everything else but i do like this because if you check this out when you click on his little preferences you know you can change individual audio sources default speakers so you can add audio for your background gaming music unless you want to play that you can do everything right here they got a lot of new stuff in this twitch studio beta which is still in beta so if you stream on twitch and you want to check out twitch studio beta check out my last video to help you get started this is a new updated video to show you what more things that's come to it and i can uh i will link my old video that i did in the description box of it um down below and at the end of this video which studio beta does have a lot of things i will be testing out more things seeing what else i can find you stop that but that being said uh, more videos is on the way where you can catch me every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for a new video over here on this channel. Subscribe to this channel if you're new. We're on our way to 1,700 subscribers. We definitely stop here. Trying to get to the goal of 3,000 by September the 7th. 3,000 subscribers by September the 7th. And the reason why, that's because I turned 30 years old on September the 7th. So can we do it? I don't know, but let's try it out. 3,000 subscribers by September the 7th. I turned 30. Hey, and that being said, but I hope you did enjoy this video. Like this video. Subscribe if you're new. Twitch Studio Beta. Pretty good app. Might be using it. Testing out some other things. Uh, God bless everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. And it's your boy Brandon coming to you for TV. I'm excited out here. God bless everybody. Peace.